good with everybody we tune in for another video in the office getting ready to go hit the garage and i gotta try the wheels on man I'm about to try the front wheels on uh, i'm going ahead and doing my intro in here because the garage I ain't letting the garage up cool and the lighting is terrible out there but um i'm gonna go out here and try these front wheels on and set it down and i gotta check out something man my car is popping i think i got an exhaust leak which uh I'm, I'm gonna give y'all that story man that's, that's crazy i'm gonna show y'all too what something happened basically over the weekend so i'm, I'm gonna give y'all that too so i'm about to head to the garage short woman what you doing <laughs> Working. nothing playing around you want to come out here and put these help me put these rims on Huh? Yeah, yeah. Nah, I ain't see the let her stay in the house today. She's getting, getting kind of getting cold. She do help though, sometimes when I need her. But anyway, I'm uh her channel on the screen too. Go subscribe to her channel if you haven't done it so already. So go check out days with Kendra. She got car content, health and fitness content, daily vlog and just different stuff. But uh yeah, I'm about to hey look what she got for Christmas too. Ratchet wrenches. I've been needing these things, man. I'm so happy to get these. I um, man, I go walk. I walk clean past the store and not buy stuff like this, man. But I really do be needing these things. Then I be working on something like, man, I need, I need a damn ratchet wrench. So she got me this, but for Christmas. So yeah, probably been putting them to work soon. But I'm all. Uh, I might be stopping by a shop. They don't know, but let's go outside and rug. Go try these rims on, and I'll see y'all in a minute. See, what are you up on there? You mess around being the frame on these things, boy. I mean, pop the ball the fender out. Y'all see, I already had a mishap. It's all good, though. Uh, gotta get up under there. Get in there. Yeah, yeah. Let me stop till that ring. Y'all, yeah. a little entertainment. <clears throat> Yep, we good. So, we gotta break the lugs loose. And I probably need to change the camera angle. But it's all good. Got the spline dry thing. Oh, I can't see what's going on. Let me see. Let me flip that. Yep. We got the spline dry. Oh, uh, spline dry socket. Tight, boy. Hey, look, y'all remember? Uh, y'all remember Ace Ventura, dude? I got this not stuck in my head. I was looking at uh, Ace Ventura. All righty then. Hey, man, I just like to have a good time. You gotta enjoy life. You gotta enjoy life. Can't wake up. Mad at the world all the time. I don't even kill your situation bad right now, you know what I'm saying? You can't. You got to live life, man. Smile, be happy. Let nobody else take your energy and all that. For real. So, got all them broke loose. Then, uh, finna get the car jacked up. Try these front runners a little. And I'm gonna see what I did, cause I'm told some tell me what I done on. Something happened. And I'm going up high enough so I can get up on him. Well I'm not sliding all the way on the car, but if you hey, I'm big on safety. Jack stands. I will use jack stands. That's why I said I'm not about to use a jack stand, so I'm not sliding all the way up underneath the car. But I'm gonna look, I can see, I can see what the problem is from. Well, if it's what I'm thinking, I'll be able to see it. Then I'll give y'all a story on what happened. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and finish doing this car. I don't wanna bore y'all with it. So I'll check in with y'all in a minute. 
All right, so we back. We got the tire off, the 18s off, and now we about to try on the Jigs SSR front run with really not a front runner, but it's a front runner for me. And I couldn't keep this on the car, no way, car. These wheels were dry, were dry. Require a uh, shank style lug nuts. So, shank style ones that's kind of long, they long, but then they got the washing stuff. Going. Come on, dog. They got the one the, uh, the washer going, and they tell you too, so I gotta go get the lug nuts. Shank style lugs, so these wouldn't work. But let's see how this thing gonna look. Perfect fit. We're gonna put two on, and then we're gonna set it down. And see, I got one of the little ones asking me questions, interrogating me. I don't know, Shay. The little ones at the door right here, looking. They probably gonna come out here. Cause they love, they love this car. My two little girls, they love this car. I got a five year old and a, and a three year old. They love big meats too, boy. They ready to ride big meats. So I guess I'm gonna have to start on that too, huh? But we just gonna snug it down. I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna hand tighten it down so we can set it down and see how it look. Then I pick up the camera. Let y'all see a better view. Woo, but I tell you what, I like the way they look already. I sure do. But when I put all four of them on, boy, that's gonna be mm, real. Now hit the track. Give me a hike. So I let that thing bad boy down. Woo! What? What? Man, I don't know why I moved his ass. Let me pick this camera up. Man! <clears throat> oh, that's hard. That is hard right there. Y'all can't tell me that ain't hard. Man, I wish I had no 15s in the back. Oh, that's hard right there. Man, man, I'm ready to put all four of them on. God, that's hard. For real, that look good. Well, we're gonna tote some. We're gonna tote some front wheels now. Hey, put in the comments for real. Like, seriously, I, man, I, I'm loving it. No lie. Tell me what y'all think. Tell me what y'all think about that. I'm loving it. They fit perfect, too. Golly, boys. 17, so they'll clear the brakes, obviously. They clear the brakes just fine. And look, for my people that saw my box shift video, these are the kind of rotors I was talking about. Slide it, slide it and drill. And people, I, I'm about to change the back brakes to clear the, uh, I'm gonna do the right way. I'm gonna put uh aftermarket brake, brake caliper on the back, which is all, it already is, but it's not the right one. But people were telling me on my Facebook to get a drag brake system. I don't want that, cause you got solid rotors. Drag brakes come with solid, solid rotors. If you don't know what a solid rotor is, that means it has no vents, no air vents in them. Like y'all see in these cross drill rotors, y'all see them holes in them right there? That's air, so air can uh, keep the rotor cool. And then in the old school rotors, you know it's solid, the whole face solid, but it got holes all around the top of it, all around it. Those are vents. Those are vents to keep the rotor from getting, getting so hot. Drag brakes, it's a completely solid rotor, so them things get hot, but they, that's why they race brakes. They made it to go from here to there, not driving around, so they sell a uh, drag, drag brake system for their car, but I think I found one I'm running with, the calipers and stuff are clear, so I think it's like six, seven hundred dollars, so I'm going to do that on the back, because I mean, we saved the caliper and the wheel to go on and stuff, but I really, me, one thing about me, I'm really, I'm really a, a fan of doing it the right way if you can. Sometimes you got to cut corners and do it, but if they make something you can do it the right way, I just spend the money. But I like showing stuff like that because everybody can't afford to go 
get a six or seven hundred dollar brake system. Like that's why I do a lot of stuff I do. Not that I can't afford to do it. Like with the big rim bill, like these wheels right here. Yeah, these wheels are not a name brand wheel. Everybody can't afford to go drop six or seven thousand dollars on a pair of rims. Everybody can't, so I do stuff like this. Just cause you can do it don't mean do it or it make logical sense. And me, you know, I like doing stuff for myself. If I find myself about to buy something or do something because I have the slightest uh, feeling in my heart that I'm doing it to try to impress somebody, I won't buy it. Cause I keep it real with myself. I will not buy it for real. If I feel like I'm about to go buy a set of rims just so I can sit, tell, uh, just so some people can say, look at me, or I got forges or this and that, I won't buy them because I'm not buying them for the right reason. I have to come 100% completely want whatever I'm getting for myself. Same thing. And it's the same thing with racing rims. Everybody not into that. And I'm a real racer. I like that. But one thing about this channel, I really know racing. So just because you might run across one of my rim videos don't mean I don't really do this stuff. But the reason I respect rims is because without big rim culture and that car out there, well, even before that car, I wouldn't have never got into seriously racing and know what I know. So that's why I, I love it. But I know this stuff too, this same thing, this is an off-brand, this Jets rim is an off-brand weld rim, weld racing. If you don't know about racing, these racing rims get just as expensive as those big rims right there. These wheels right here, when you get name brand like Billet Specialties, RC Components, Weld Racing, them rims get just as high and they smaller, just as high as a set of them, or a set of forges, like they get up there. And the wheels and tires, trust me, they can get to $6,000, $7,000 easy. So these right here is like a knockoff of weld rims. They look similar, but they're not wheels, they're not lighter. They're much heavier. The wheel rim is better. But I'm like, just cause you can get it, I don't need all of that for this. I'm not seriously racing this car, so every pound don't matter to me. When you racing, yeah, every pound matter car. Them wheel rims, I got buddies that got the wheels. Oh, they light. They light as a feather, man, I'm telling you. But I'm happy with these, man. That thing, boy, they look good. They look too good. But uh, yeah, man, I want to mount this up. I don't know if this is gonna be the end of the vlog or what. If it's not, we're going to continue on the day. But if it is, then I'm going to close the video out. But y'all just stay tuned. All right, y'all. So we tuned back in, man. I just got back from the gym. Ain't really too much going on today. Uh, I was going to try to get uh, to put the radios on the rims. But he went at the shop today. So I couldn't show y'all that. So maybe another day. But while I was coming up the driveway, I thought about it before I closed the video. I need to tell y'all what happened. Because I might be going to the dyno. Uh, this week, but I hope this don't affect it. But y'all see this? Y'all see that right there? Yeah, boy, I had a mishap. And it, it was actually the day uh, I, I filmed the ride reaction, man. I had a whole lot going on. It was a lot of filming that day. And, uh, man, I was back in the car out the driveway. I looked down at my phone. The what the uh, driver's side tie went out the driveway. Y'all know my pipe, my crossover pipe is real low. And that car low anyway, I was like, man, this this about to be ugly. So basically, long story short, I was stuck. I couldn't get out, man. It was sprinkling. The ground was super wet, super soft. Couldn't get out, man. Pipe hung up on the thing. So had to call uh had to call my boy Rick, aka Don't Panic and Brady. Don't panic uh customs over here. They put we uh pulled the car out and then y'all see all that on the driveway? All that was scraping and then now all of a sudden I got some stuff popping, like when it when the uh when the RPMs come down, it popping back. It's uh it's popping back. Pop pop. I got a little killer right here. I don't know what he got going on. He better going about his business. But anyway, I got some little stuff. The RPM is popping back, so I don't know what that is, but it probably caused by that, cause they wouldn't start doing it. So uh yeah, that's it, y'all. That's the end of this vlog. Uh, I just want to tell y'all that, and we might be going to the dino this week, so you definitely want to stay tuned in to the channel. And uh, I'll get with y'all in a minute. I'm out.